Now more help from puzzle lovers. Today, we're gonna to show you how to make your own puzzle and how to save your work. Here's Jan Diatri. It seems like everybody's doing puzzles these days. It's a great way to pass the time. But what happens if you start a puzzle, which I'm about to do here, and you don't wanna finish it, and it sits on your table, and it sits and sits? Well, I found the Pack-A-Puzzle. This is so cool. It's a great big long felt mat. It's 46 by 26, so it can hold adult puzzles, kid puzzles. In fact, it could hold 1,500 pieces, so that's a pretty large puzzle. And it also comes with these expandable rollers. So what you do, depending on the size of your puzzle, is um, you'll start here, you'll have your puzzle, the pieces that, you're already, that you've already done, and then you're just gonna take that cylinder and you're just gonna roll Roll it right over those puzzle pieces and then you can put straps around it and then tuck it away until or even maybe going on a picnic or something and continue it so I love this idea it just kind of organ organizes your puzzle activities all right I love this idea so this is a personalized puzzle and I'm doing this for my one-year-old niece, Zyla, and I'm gonna introduce her to all her favorite things, her big sisters, her puppy. You could do numbers, you could do colors. So what I'm gonna do is take these blank puzzles, I'll cut them to size, and I'll put them right in there, and then I will Mod Podge them so that they really stay nice and strong and sturdy. I love this idea, it's the personalized puzzle, and you can find all of these things, the pack a puzzle, the personalized puzzle, and of course, puzzles online. And Tram, I actually have one of my own. This one's all about cats. My daughter's really into it, and I'm gonna do it this weekend. I bought this way before the surge in puzzles. I've always been a puzzle lover. Okay, there's 300 pieces. I hope you'll put them all together well, Destry. Good luck with that.